Welcome to your very own Tala Dalal's kitchen. I Chef Pal today will be showing you a unique halwa called Chana Dal Halwa. So to make the Chana Dal Halwa, our most important ingredient is Chana Dal. So I've washed it under running water and now I'm going to soak it in enough water for 2 hours. So let's pour some water. So it has been 2 hours and Chana Dal has been soaked. This is how it looks. And now let's drain it. Ensure that you remove all the excess water. Otherwise when you blend it will be watery and we want to blend it without any water. So now let's transfer this in a mixer jar. So this is my mixer jar. And now I'm adding the soaked and drained chana dal. And now we're going to blend this to a coarse mixture without using any water. So our chana dal mixture has been coarsely blended. This is how it looks. If you've noticed, it's nice and thick because we've not added any water while blending. But also there are no whole chana dal pieces which is very very important. So if you wish, you can even blend in smaller batches but don't take a very big jar. It'll be difficult to blend. So this is coarse but no pieces. So now let's proceed to the next step. So I've taken a deep non-stick pan. I'm going to add ghee and allow it to melt. We'll allow the ghee to melt completely. So our ghee has been melted well. To this we add the coarse chana dal. Now we're going to mix this well and cook it on a medium flame for at least 14 minutes. But make sure you continuously stir it. And the flame also should be medium, not very slow and not very high. So it's been approximately 5 minutes and the colour has slightly changed as you can see. So we'll further cook it. It's been almost 10 minutes and the colour is now light brown. But we'll cook it a little more to get the golden brown colour. And the mixture has become more smoother. So it has been 14 minutes and the colour has changed as you can see. Now we'll add the other ingredients. Some hot milk. Hot water. And we'll cook this on a medium flame for 2-3 to three minutes while stirring continuously. As you can see it's getting a little thicker. Make sure you're a little careful as spluttering a little. To this we'll add some sugar. And we'll cook this on a medium flame for 6-8 to eight minutes while stirring continuously. As you can see it's turning a little thicker. We'll wait for a minute or two. See it is nice and thick. Now we're going to add some cardamom powder for a nice flavour and little kesar or saffron. We'll mix this well and cook it on a medium flame for one minute while stirring continuously. See the mixture is nice and thick as you can see just like how a halwa should be. And by cooking this for one minute the cardamom powder will give a very nice taste and aroma. As you can see it's done and the ghee is leaving the sides of the pan. So let's quickly serve it. So let's garnish a chana dal halwa with some almond slivers. Do make this recipe in your kitchen for your guests for a party and I'm sure they'll enjoy it. But don't forget to serve it hot. Goodbye. For more recipes, log on to talladalal.com. To get new recipe updates daily, follow us on Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook. Also press the bell icon on YouTube to never miss an update from Talladalal's Kitchen.